All right, YouTube, what is up? Just got to put another click on the old clicker here. What we have for the month? 237. Pretty good month. <laughs> so, this week we're going to tie up this <clears throat> white death variant. It's a video I already did. I did a while back, but uh just going to redo it. It's uh it was my first video and it was on a different hook. And I've been tying a lot of these because tis the season. Uh, yeah, many dozen of these have been tied lately because steelhead coming up. This is a very popular fly for steelhead. So I'm going to pop this one out of the vise and I'll tie one up with you guys. So the hook we're going to use today on this longer version is A-Rex's. NS, the Nordic Salt Series, 118. <clears throat> this is the 118 is the uh, classic streamer hook. So yeah, you can see we have a down eye. We have a longer shank on it. Just a nice hook for, you know, classic streamer pattern, stuff like that. Buggers. Different zonkers. Okay. And one thing that's a little different about this fly is we're going to use two different threads today so we're going to use some uh, Vivas 140 power thread and some black Vivas uh, 140 power thread this will be the head this will be the body so we, by using this we'll see a little bit of a tag and the underbody because our body is going to be a pearl color so it will show through just a little bit so we're just going to attach this thread onto our hook Cut off the tag, and we're going to bring our thread all the way back just past our bend, just a little bit down the bend, and then back over itself. This is just going to be another little hot spot in the back. We want to stop our thread right about, you can see my thread hanging here is right by the barb of our hook. So now we're gonna come in with our first material. These ones, the smaller ones, I don't use this or I don't do this step. But uh, the bigger ones, I put a little bit of ice dub just out the back. Um, like I said, this is a white death variant. Uh, the original white death pattern you use a little bit of the belly material, hangs out the back as flash. Um, the reason why I like mine instead of the original is just because of the color combinations I can do. You know tons of different colors just by changing you know thread color or changing the body uh, the braid for the body it just gives me a lot of different options so the first material is going to be this ice tub just a little bit of a pinch of pearl ice tub here I'm going to take that about 50 50 60 40 something like that tie it on top with a few wraps Pull the excess back, and we're going to wrap right over that. And once again, this is going to be a little bit of flash for the tail of our fly. It'll sit underneath our rabbit. So the rabbit is going to be our next material. This is a eighth inch zonker. This is white. Uh -uh. I, that's another thing about this fly tie. They in a ton of different colors, a ton of different colors up top, ton of different belly colors. Even by changing just this thread, you can change the look of the fly quite a bit. And it's just cool that it can be so customizable, you know. So we're just gonna measure out this rabbit strip. I got it here. I'm gonna wet my fingers, pull that uh, rabbit strip forward, just so we can split it. And I want to measure it to just about right to our eye of our hook spin up our thread hold that right on top come over it with one two three four wraps pull back okay and now we have that up and out of the way we're going to tie in our belly material which is going to be pearl or dyed pearl diamond braid but it's the pearl color I like diamond braid for this instead of the uh, flat braid just gives a little bit more belly or more uh, 
it's just a little bit thicker belly, I guess. <laughs> so as you can see, we're just tying this material in. I like to pull it to the side, your side of the hook. Pull it all the way back. Give this some good thread wrap for just trying to now even out our body so that when we run our diamond braid over it, it's just got easy transition. Double over this thread. Then I'm going to tie up to the front and we're going to throw a half hitch in here. And we're going to cut out this color. I'm going to move this vise around and get you guys situated. Sorry. Okay. So now we have our other color, the black Vivas Power Thread. I'm going to attach that in the front. Ooh, cut off our tag. We'll come in with some super glue here. I'm going to run the super glue up the body. Just over those thread wraps. So once we tie this down, it ain't coming off. Touching wraps right up the body, shank of our hook. Okay, and then when I'm tying it off, I want to pull up top. Capture that with one, two wraps. Cut out our excess. And we just want to bring our thread right back to the end of what our, was going to be our little thread head here. And come back in with our super glue again. The super glue I'm using for this is just the Loctite gel. So as you can see, I put a strip all the way across the top. And I'm going to grab my rabbit. Pull this tight. Lay it on top into that glue. We're going to come over with our black thread. Trap that with two wraps. Cut out the tag. <coughs> now we're just going to finish off a little bit of a thread head here. Do some trimming and we are done. So with the heads, I like to always wrap up, just trying to make it nice and even looking. And then I always wrap to the back, and that's where I'm going to put my half inch. Two half inches just to finish that off. Whip finish, whatever you like to do. And then I pull it down towards the bottom. Cut that material thread out. And then I pull this wrap it up just to make it easier to stick our, th our scissors through cut it back here and then this just needs a little bit of UV here on the belly or my, I like to put the UV right here over these thread wraps and right into the body a little bit too. So another thing you can do with this pattern is uh, if you want it to sink a little bit more too, you could, like I said, you could put weight into the belly of it or you can coat this whole belly with your UV with a, a layer if you do one layer it'll just help it sink a little bit if you do multiple it'll be more weight and then uh, it also have like a <laughs> a see-through look to it clear through if my daughter was saying it <laughs> a see-through belly which uh, is actually a really cool look 
So, this is done. And this is our white death variant. It's the way I tie them. Tie a lot of these. As you'll see at the end of the video here, we use it a lot. Uh, in the unweighted version, pretty much, is where I use it mostly. Uh, tight line fishing, I'll use this as like a, a fly up above. And it's just weightless, so that current just gets it moving just right. And you can tell when they hit this one and not, <laughs> and not the egg. <clears throat> so, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video.